Would you like to set up a connection to a server using RDP or VNC? In this video, I'll show you how you can use profiles to configure and establish various remote connections in Visionet RM Shell 6. In this video, we will show you how to set up a remote connection profile such as RDP and VNC, as well as a web browser within the RM Shell. We are currently in the operator view. An RDP profile has already been created here. The green bar indicates that this is an active connection. The profile can for example connect to a process control or MES system. The green tab acts like a portal back to the ARM shell. You can move it and use it to close the connection. An inactive profile is indicated with a grey bar. Now we get to the setup of a profile and a remote connection. To create a profile, you must authenticate as an administrator. You will then be taken to the configuration view. Click on Profiles Management. Here you can see the profiles that have already been created. We will delete this connection and create it again. To create a profile, click on Create New Profile and select the profile with the connection you want to create. In this case, we select an RDP connection. If you cannot find the profile you are looking for, please check whether you have a license for it. As you can see on the left side of the screen, the profile has been created. Now we can make various configurations within the profile. You can change the name and define the host computer, enter the username for the remote connection and the password. If you now go back to Profiles, the new connection will be displayed. On the home screen, the new connection is displayed as a tile. Now we test the connection. The connection has been successfully established and the process screen is displayed. You can go back to the home screen with a smart taskbar on the right side without closing the connection. The active connection appears again with a green bar. You can also close the connection again via the green tab. Different connection features can be added to a profile. To activate them, go back to the Profiles Management and click on the stopwatch icon of the corresponding profile. The AutoConnect feature sets a timer after which the profile will be started automatically. Zero seconds means that the profile will be started directly. The Retry feature attempts to reconnect to the host in case the connection gets lost. You can specify both a limited number of retries and the time between them. In case a connection to the host gets lost and cannot be reconnected by the retry feature, you can set up another profile as a backup. If you set the current profile as its own backup profile, the device will continuously reconnect to the same host. This can be useful for example when software updates are installed and the host is rebooted. Then the remote monitor or thin client will reconnect when the host reboots. The green square indicates that connection features have been enabled. In addition to the RDP profile, we now want to create a profile with a web browser. To do this, we go to Create New Profile and select Chrome. In this profile type, we can specify the name of the connection and determine the URL that the profile should connect to. You can also deny the user to close the profile. This way, it will remain permanently open when you log out as admin. Click Apply to save the changes. The new profile will be displayed on the left side as well. Here, you can also set connection features like AutoConnect. The new Chrome profile is displayed next to the RDP profile. You can now establish both connections and switch between them easily and quickly via the Smart Taskbar. As you can see from the green bar above the tiles, both connections are now established and active. If you now want to adjust the connection features of a profile, first close the profile via the green tab. Then, you can edit the connection features in the Profile Management. 
We now change the profile settings so that the RDP profile connects directly as soon as the admin logs out or a user logs in to the ARM shell. If we now leave the configuration view and log out as administrator within the ARM shell, the connection will be established automatically. You can navigate quickly and easily using the smart taskbar on the right. That's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.